In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to completely bypass the three app limit in Side Store on iOS. With this method, you guys can sideload an unlimited amount of apps with no jailbreak and even has extra things like just support. So the first thing we're gonna do is simply just open up Side Store. And what we're gonna need to do is remove any apps in there, making sure that there's at least one section open. So if you guys want, you guys can add only one app but you need to remove the other one since you guys can only have three things siloaded at once so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into safari and then in safari you guys are gonna go to the live container github i'll leave a link for this in the description down below and you're just gonna keep scrolling down until you guys see ipa download here and now there's two types there's nightly and stable if you guys want the latest version of live container then get nightly if you guys want the stable version which is for most users then i would highly recommend doing stable so you're just gonna click on ipa download here and then just click on download and while that's downloading we need to get side store ready for ipa side loading so what you guys are going to do is go click on stos vpn and if you guys haven't watched the side store video and have no clue what i'm talking about i highly recommend that you guys do watch the side store video it'll be in the top right and so we're just going to connect this here and as you guys can see my vpn has in fact connected and now you're just going to go into side store, click on the plus icon here and then just select on live container. And so as you guys can see, live container has in fact side loaded on my device. So what you guys are going to do is just launch it here. And then you guys are going to click on settings and then you guys are going to click on patch side store. Click continue and it should automatically take you back into side store. And now if you guys just go back into live container, you guys will see patch side store again. And it should have also taken a certificate from side store. And so now you guys will see remove certificate and refresh certificate from side store. And so now that you guys see those three things, now just tap on jitless mode diagnose. And as you guys can see, all of this is here. So just click on test jitless mode. And if you guys followed everything correctly, it'll say jitless mode test passed. And so you guys are good to go. And so now if you guys want, you guys can install another live container, which is completely optional here. And so pretty much using two live containers allows you to run two different apps simultaneously with almost seamless data transfer between the live containers. For this video's sake, I will be installing the second live container. So I'll just click install here and then click install and from here you guys are just gonna go and look for side store here and as you guys can see once you guys click on side store here it'll load the second live container and as you guys can see there's now two live containers one is blue and the other is gray and so the blue one is the main one and so you guys are gonna swipe out and then just click on the blue live container and now we can start side loading what you guys are going to do is go to apps click on the plus icon here and now you have two options you can either side load through an ipa file or a link for this video i'll be doing ipa files so just click on that and so the first ipa that i'm going to be side loading is old os so just click on that here and you'll see it sideload almost instantly and you guys can see it's over here if you guys want to know how to get old os which is an ios 4 simulator i'll leave a video in the top right anyways i'll just keep importing every single file the next one we're going to do is delta even though this is already on the app store just for the video's sake i will be showing ips here so i'll click on nds inds and then the last one which is play and as you guys can see there are four apps siloed here and so we essentially bypassed the three app limit so now if you guys just click on run here so if i click on old west and i click run as you guys can see it works just like it's intended to and so you can swipe to unlock you can do anything you pretty much want However, there is one thing with live container that would be considered a downside. And that is that you guys can only run one instance of an app at a time. So pretty much if you guys wanted to have two side loaded apps running at the same time, it wouldn't work. 
and so if you guys want to run another app you would first have to close out of live container from the app switcher and then just go back into live container and then you'd have to relaunch your second app which for example would be inds and uh, yeah that is the biggest issue with live container anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this then make sure you guys leave a comment down below and thanks for watching